So we want to take the Tableau Desktop Specialist exam. My name is Dobrin. I recently passed it with around 96% and I want to share with you three tips that I believe can help you pass it more easily. Tip number one is to actually use the product. Yes, I know it sounds very cliche, but it's very true. By using the product, you can more easily remember how to accomplish certain tasks, how to perform certain actions, or where are certain menus, what are the menu options, and so on. So I very much suggest that you download Tableau Public, play with the sample data, and actually the, the most optimal way that I think um, you should use is to go to the Tableau prep guide and then go topic by topic and try to do the things that are listed there within Tableau. For example, if you see relationships, then try to do relationships Try to do a relationship between two Excel files, for example. Or if you see bar chart or light chart, try to do them within Tableau. And then on, not only them, but also the little details, for example, color, size, and so on. I personally have been using Tableau for around two years, and this gives you a great advantage. But it's not enough. And this leads me to tip number two, which is to read the documentation. This is important because there are a lot of details that you can easily omit if you don't read it. For example, in Tableau, you, ca you can accomplish certain tasks in more than one way, usually in two or three different ways. This is something that is tested on the exam, so you, you want to make sure that you know how to accomplish these tasks in every possible way. Also, on the exam, you have some topics, for example, relationships or data sets for which you need to have the knowledge. You need to read to learn about them. What I would suggest is, again, go to the Tableau exam prep guide, go topic by topic, and then go to the documentation and read everything about this topic in there. That way you will know that you don't read anything that is not needed for you for the exam, but focus on the specific topics that the exam covers. Tip number three is to take sample tests. It's important for you, before you start learning for the exam, to take some sample tests in order to familiarize yourself with the exam style. When you know the exam style, you can then know how to learn. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this across, but when you know the exam style, you know what, the question, what questions you can expect, and you know, in a way, how to learn, how to structure the information in your mind. Another important benefit of the practice exams is that you can uncover gaps of knowledge while you are studying. For example, Around four or five days before the exam, I started solving more practice exams and I was able to see where were my gaps of knowledge, what topics I wasn't prepared enough for, and I was able to go back to the documentation and read about them. And also, last but not least, a lot of the questions on the actual exam were very similar to the ones on the practice tests. And as a bonus tip, I want to tell you that it's very important to be calm during the exam. In my personal experience, at first I was a bit nervous there were some noises going on around me, but after that, I managed to calm down and focus on the exam. So my suggestion for you would be to find a quiet place and try to concentrate on the questions during the exam. That was all from me. Thank you for watching and I wish you good luck.